welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome to the replay. I'm glad that you are able to join me this evening or later on. Um, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Um, once you hop on, say hi in the comments. Tell me where you are watching from. Um, I happen to be in central Kansas, but I like to hear where all of you are viewing from. Just a quick reminder, if you are new here, I do live, I do stream in three locations this evening. So um, I tell you that so that if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your comment feed, that person may be viewing and commenting from a different platform. Also, if you happen to be watching from my private Facebook group, um, there is a StreamYard permission link in the description of the video. If you choose to click that, then that just allows StreamYard to pin your profile name and pick to your comment. Um, if you choose not to click that permission link, then your comment will show up as Facebook user in my comments and I won't know who is commenting and therefore I won't know who to say hi to. So let's see who is on. I see that Jason is watching from the other side of the door and Bonita is watching from her craft room in her basement, just like me. <laughs> I'm in the, down in the dungeon, but we make do with what we have. <clears throat> I actually don't mind being in the basement. Um, so yeah, whatever works. Again, say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. If at any time during um, the live or the replay, you mm -hmm. like this project and you think others would like it as well, make sure you, <coughs> excuse me, spread that chalk love. Um, wherever you can share it, um, hit that like button, hit that heart button, subscribe if you happen to be watching from YouTube, and tag your crafty friends and invite them to watch along with you. And with that, let's flip the camera so you can see what we are working on. Let me move this just out of the way real quick. <clears throat> so <coughs> Um, I missed Monday. My apologies. I just was not feeling it. And I've just decided if I'm not feeling it, I'm not going to do it. So I took a night off. Um, thanks for being flexible. So we're doing a hashtag. Um, and I always forget to do that. We're doing hashtag monthly transfer Monday on Wednesday. So this is the club couture transfer for the month. Um, it is called botanicals um so this is the club couture transfer of the month and let's just real quickly for those of you that might be new or if you haven't seen um, this is a an exclusive transfer that is only available um uh i can't I just lost my train of thought it's only available if you are a club couture member or a designer <coughs> um it comes with three paste uh, packets and it is a DIY monthly subscription kit that is mailed directly to your mailbox every month. There is a three month minimum commitment to sign up, but you can cancel at any time after the three months. Um, like I said, it does come with three coordinating paste singles every month. This month's colors are camel, papaya, and shimmer melon. So really pretty 70s boho, all those earth tone colors that are really popular. Um, it is $21.99 U.S., $27.99 Canadian. Um, it is shipped for free. And also as a Club Couture member, you get um, flat rate $5.99 shipping on most of your orders. So that's a great little deal in itself. If It's a great way to try Chalk Couture. Um, if you are a little bit past a newbie but not quite ready to be a designer, uh, Club Couture is a great program um, for that. So this is the big um, transfer for the month. So really pretty botanicals and it says just keep breathing at the bottom. And just as a reminder, we do have a new third manufacturer of transfers. So if you get a transfer with this black sticker on it, just a reminder that this any transfer with that black sticker this portion of your transfer where all of the copyright information is is also a mesh and it will go through if you paste on it paste will go through it onto your surface 
if you're using a chalkboard or glass it's not a terrible thing but if you're working on a non-porous surface like a t-shirt or wood that might be a bad thing so you can just tape over it you could also just remove it as well but i'm just going to tape over it for now so we're using the botanicals transfer and i, I had a hard time trying to come up with um, something interesting to put this transfer on but then i got to thinking it has flowers on it so let's make a plant nanny and i've had these in my stash for a while so here's the box and it's these are just called plant nannies and what they are are these terracotta spikes and so you insert your bottle you fill your bottle up with water put the plant in or put the terracotta spike on it and then you put this inside your plants and it becomes an automatic waterer for your plants so that's what we're going to do tonight so we're going to jazz up this we're going to upcycle this wine bottle into a cute little plant nanny so i'm just rubbing it down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to get any oils or dirt or dust you could also use windex but and i got to thinking i probably ought to check yeah, it pretty much fits so i picked out I'm going to break out Dream Car, which is last month's color of the month that sold out in eight days. I'm also using a uh, Colonial Blue, a uh, Couture Teal, Sunny sunny Side, and Jade. My, my apologies, Jade is retired, but I thought it would be a pretty green. And stay tuned if you want to see March's color of the month. I will be showing that later. I made a mess of that. Um, it's a really pretty color. And as I I'm pretty sure it's still available. I guess I probably should have checked that. So I'm just taking the lids off of these. Ooh, hopefully. Uh, I might need a little water. I'll give it a little bit of water. Okay, the first thing we want to do is write the name of the transfer on the back side. Because these are reusable transfers, they're reusable about 8 to 12 times depending on how well you take care of them. So when I'm done with this transfer, I want to know... I. Um, I'm going to put it on this side, so I need to denote what the back side is so I don't accidentally put it on the wrong side. Because the other thing with this new manufacturer is um, the back side used to be a matte finish, and you can kind of see in the video that it is now also shiny, so it's kind of hard to tell with the newer transfer manufacturer which side is the front side and the back side. So I'm going to peel this away from its carrier sheet the backer sheet I'll put those to the side and because this is a new transfer and i'm also using it on glass i need to make sure that i knock back as much of that adhesive as i can because it will stick like glue to this glass so you can just use any terry cloth towel, you could use a throw pillow, you could use your t-shirt, your shirt that you're wearing. You just want to knock back um, enough adhesive that it's not going to stick so much to your surface that it peels or, just, or it stretches or distorts your transfer because then it may not work as well. I'm really going to get this top side. A few more times. Really want to knock back a lot of that sticky. So 
So I'm just going to kind of start by placing the tallest flower down. I'm trying to get it somewhat even. It's going to be a little difficult because it's rounded, but we will make do. Let's see what that's going to. That's really crooked. So how's everybody doing this evening? How's your week been? that's pretty good. I'm going to make that one. I'm going to try to make the stem if I can. It's really weird. Oh. Just kind of, you can't see that very well. Let's move all that up. Sorry, I had it towards me. I'm just trying to drape that stem, although you're not going to be able to see it past. So never mind. I'm not going to go very far past the ball of the um, bottle because you won't be able to see it. And I need to see if I can fix this jade a little bit. I probably can't, so I may have to pick a different green. So if your paste happened to get hard like this, although they're not supposed to, but I haven't used this color for a while. Yeah, I'm not even going to, not going to waste your time or my time. Jason says week has been good, but ready for the weekend. Somebody says taking forever or is me taking forever or the week is taking forever. Forest, although nope, that's a little dark. I'll well, we'll just pull out emerald. It's not. I gotta get a better green. I don't think I have a good green. There we go. This wasn't the color I would have preferred, but it's the color that will work. So if you happen to be in the Salina area um, this weekend, I hope to have a DIY graphic tea um, workshop. I do need to have two paid registrations by tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Otherwise, I will most likely cancel the class um, just because if I don't know, if I don't have a, a, com a committed number of people coming, then I don't really want to drag all my stuff upstairs <laughs> and then not have anybody come because that has happened. Okay, so I have, I wonder... So most of this is going to go around. So let's just work on one flower at a time. Um, and I think I want, let's just go bold and we'll do this um, taller flower in dream color or dream car. And this is not a color that you can purchase. Again, I I alluded to it earlier. It is a color of the month. And this month we have a new color. It's called Academ Academia. Academia. It's a beautiful kind of blue jade color. And so the color of the month, the number is of, that can be purchased is limited. You can unlock the ability to purchase it by spending um, $75. $75? 
$45.75. I can't remember. Um, and you can purchase up to three once you unlock the ability um, to purchase it. So then I'm going to take one of my mini squeegees and just dip it into the emerald. And I'm going to do the stem. Dumped it in the wrong color. And I am using paste on this glass. Um, you can use e the Couture ink and heat set it. I just haven't had a lot of um, luck with that myself. Um, so I'm actually going to seal it. Uh, with just a clear spray. I know it'll kind of muddle up the image a little bit, but I'm not terribly worried about it. it it'll just frost the glass over. That's about all it'll do. So I'm just going to peel this off so I can get that flower dry. Uh, so just lay that right there. Bring out my quick dry tool. And we're just gonna get this flower dry. If you can kind of see it a little bit. And the cool thing is, is you can find like the blue wine bottles, and you could do like white and silver, and um, you could get the green colored bottles or even the amber colored bottles. So hit up your friends that have, um, that drink wine. I don't, but when we used to have the recycling center here where you could just walk in, I would always ransack the wine bottle box. I do also have some friends that usually, um, Will share with me so that's kind of nice i have some uh, scrap backer sheets um i'm just gonna put i'm try to cover up a portion of this transfer just so that some of it doesn't stick to the actually let's just go around i'll do it a different direction We'll just work our way around this way. So I'm going to try to match it up if I can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to burnish this flower on. Let's do this one in let's do the blue. And this is colonial blue. just taking my squeegee and I'm running it down and around just where the silk screen areas are. And this is just kind of like buttering bread, spreading jelly on toast. So now I'm going to use the meadow color and I'm going to make the stem. In the leaf. Oof, that is thick. Needs a wee bit more water. Okay. So 
Let's try that one. the blue one. I don't know if that's going to help. A little bit. There's the blue one. Okay, so let's move our backer sheet over. Okay, so roughly there. I do want to make sure I can fit all of that butterfly on there. just have to smush it or because this is a rounded surface just to make sure you get all of that silk screen uh, burnished down I'm just gonna add a little bit more water it's drying out really quick I think I want to do the butterfly yellow or sunny side. I think it'd be really cute. Just going to put the excess back in my jar and I'm going to peel him away just so that the, my paste does not dry in my transfer. And we'll give him a little dry. lay him back down and then this color I think we'll do both of well no because then they're going to be together I think we'll go back and do this one in dream color or dream color dream car and then we'll do this one in um, couture teal this one just has some small buds on it. So do any of you, are any of you out there plant ladies? Do you all have green thumbs? Because I do not. I have a horrible black thumb. So if you are a plant lady, this would be a really cute way to add just a fun little addition to all your little plants, especially if you have any that 
could use an automatic water. I may have to clean some of this up because it's on there pretty rough. Let me see if we got that down. Jason says he could kill dried flowers. My joke is that I can kill plastic plants. Well, that's pretty. Bonita says she can't keep a piece of lily alive. Definitely a black thumb here. Yeah. My grandmother could stop by the side of the road and pick a, just a little tiny piece of cactus, plant, bush, whatever. And 10 years later, it'd be this six foot tall thing. And yeah, I can't. So there's that flower. I did not get that gene from her. So this won't fill up the whole, I guess you could, you could fill it in. Uh, you could wash the transfer and fill it in. Um, I don't, well, yeah, I'm going to put the backer sheet towards this side just to kind of mask off all those other places. Um, Let's stick that one right about there. Okay, so let's do this one in couture teal. Let's just get another little one. Jason says it's turning out beautiful. I think it's fun. I need to get these plant nannies used. These come in a four pack. I don't think they were very expensive. I've had them for quite a while, like literally quite a while. I think I just, I know I got them on Amazon. Wouldn't have gotten them anywhere else. These make cute little gifts. You could, I've put vinyl decor on them. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever chalked one. So that's what we're doing tonight. They look really pretty with vinyl. You could use the uh, succulents from um, the home is where my plants are transfer. If you happen to have that one, that'd look really cute. Um, Trying to think what other ones would look good. I mean, I have done water bottles, but I've never done a plant nanny. Most of those other ones have just been decorative. So I've got to get a new green. Okay, let's see how that worked. That one turned out pretty. I could maybe squeeze in one right here. Or I could add. Let's 
thinking about adding in one more. Except for, um, we'll see, we'll try it. It might be that my transfer is super dry, but we'll see if we can get a, a second generation out of this, actually. Normally, you'd probably want to clean your transfer, um, but I'm just going to be bold and daring. And let's, I guess we'll have to use blue. My blue is really dry, too. So the problem with this though is if I've had any paste dry in my silk screen, then I may have a hard time pushing paste through a second time, but we'll see. And the nice thing about glass is if it doesn't work, I can wash that flower off, wash the transfer and redo it. the problem will be this green but luckily we don't have to do very much now the green didn't come through very well but that's okay That'll just be the back side. That actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, so here's Okay, so this was the first flower that we did the, in the dream car. There's the blue, first blue one. It's kind of hard to see, sorry. And then we've got the the second dream uh, car flower and then the butterfly. And then we have the couture teal flower. And then that's the last flower we did. So easy peasy. So then when I'm all finished, I will take it outside and give it a clear coat. Again, it's going to muddle up the glass a little bit, but I want to try to protect the design. So let's, I'm going to move out all of my dirty stuff. Let's close these up. I need to put these two to the side. I've got a pile of paste here that I need to fix. I found this on the web. Oh, no, I don't need your assistance. I need to put this one to the side because I need to fix it. Okay, so like I said earlier, let's go back here. Let me show it. So this is your little plant nanny. And then you just fill up. You fill up your bottle, wine bottle with water. You put your spike in or you put the bottle into the spike and then you put this into your plant. So say like this is your plants. You just kind of stick the terracotta spike down into the dirt. And then uh, because terracotta is porous, um, it just kind of it works with the soil and um, as the terracotta, it just kind of absorbs all of the water into the soil. So it becomes an automatic waterer. So it makes, and it's also a cute little decor piece for your plants. You could use it outside in your garden flowers as well, or even in your garden. 
Okay, doke. So real quick, since I have quite a bit of time, let's go ahead. I want to show you how easy it is to wash the transfers because that is one of the perks of the products. If you're looking for easy to use, easy to care for, easy to store um, craft products, creative products, these are fantastic for that. So I, you just need a water source. Um, oh, dang it. Gotta, hold on, I gotta find a board eraser. I know I have a ton in here. Just get out of the way. So these come in a package of two. So they come packaged like this. I highly recommend that pretty much every order that you place, you should always, um, it's a good idea to add a package of these to your orders. They're a package of two for $2.99, I believe. So they're kind of like the magic erasers, but they don't have any chemicals in them. They're great to clean your boards, but they're also great to clean your transfers. So I'm just going to flip it back over, paste side up. And I'm just going to use the squeegee or the board eraser to wipe all of that paste away. I've got it, I'm using it on the front side right now. And you'll notice as I lift it up, there's still paste in my silk screen. So I'm going to flip it over to the back side and I'm going to do the same thing. And that will release a lot more paste from the silk screen. Okay, so then you just take it out of the water and I lay it on a towel. Butterfly still has some paste in it. And put the water down over there so I don't spill it. So I just kind of scrub a little bit more. I noticed after they changed the paste formula the last time. It just doesn't come out as easily. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that. And don't be alarmed with the new manufactured transfers. Don't be alarmed if you put your transfer in water and it becomes completely unsticky because the sticky will come back. So I'm just using a disinfecting wipe on the back side. And I'm just going to leave, except for um, a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow left. And then I'm going to take that off. So I'm just going to leave this sticky side up um, and let it air dry for about 15 minutes. And then I'll put it back on its backer sheet. I have discovered if you like I used to always put them back on the backer sheet immediately but this newer one there's something weird that goes on and it totally warps um, your backer sheet and your transfer so let them air dry for about 15 minutes then I can bring this back in and let's um, clean up our tools a little bit so I just use a just a regular kitchen sponge for my tools because the board erasers will rip and tear if you use them on the squeegees. This just makes it super easy to clean these. I'm just going to let them soak in there for a little bit and then 
I will do those off camera, but that's pretty much how you clean those. Okay, so we'll do those later. Okay, no, so let's go over a few um, promotions. I have not done that yet for this month. Let's come back here. Okay, so I did um, talk a little bit about Club Couture. Just so you know, it is a monthly DIY subscription kit that comes to your mailbox every month. So if you want more information about that, just let me know. The customer um, promotion for this month is uh, Transfer Palooza. So what Transfer Palooza is, is when you buy three transfers, you can get one free. So you add three transfers to your um, cart and you'll get a fourth one at, you'll, when you add a fourth one, that one will be free and you can stack it. So then you can order, you can buy six transfers, get two free and so on and so on. So it's almost all of the transfers, including the transfers in Last Chance as well. So if you've had your eye on a bunch of transfers, uh, this would be the month to stock up on those. Um, an additional perk this month for Club Couture members, if you spend um, $100, then you get a, a transfer tote and a fuzz cloth for free. I use the transfer tote for the um, size D and size E transfers, the 18 by 18 and the 18 by 24 transfers. It works great. Um, so if you want more information about the transfer Palooza, let me know. And I also talked a little bit about color of the month. So the March color of the month is Academia. It's a beautiful blue teal color, kind of a, well, I would call that one jade, but um, we have a different color of jade, but it's just a beautiful color. It's a little, it's similar to Tide, but it's a, I think it has a little more green in it than Tide does. Tide's a little more blue, but you can unlock the opportunity to purchase Academia with a $75 order and you can, oops, I forgot to change that. It should say March. Um, so you can, I think you can order up to three and just keep in mind that last month's dream car color sold out in eight days. So um, that is uh, the color of the month. And I haven't ever talked about this, but we do have a try me kit um, of the month. This one is the happy Easter swirls try me kit. So all every month, the try me kit is offered at 20% off retail price. So this one includes the Happy Easter Swirl size A transfer, a double-sided 5x7 box frame, and two paste singles in Bumblebee and Peony, and a mini squeegee. So check that out. It's under kits um, at my website, which is down... <laughs> I can't figure it out. Down there. There you go. It's down there in the corner of the video. Let's go back to the comments. Benita gave me some emojis and Jason said too cute. So thanks for joining me this evening while we made a plant nanny. So here's again, here's what it looked like. Um, if you want some information about where to order those or I happen to have a couple you could buy off of me, just let me know. Um, not for sure about the weekend. I do have that, hopefully have that workshop coming up. But if I don't have that, then I will most certainly go live. Oh, I also have to do the winner tonight. Let's do the giveaway winner. If you um, post, if you commented on my live check-in post today on my main business page, then you are automatically entered. So let's go. Let me make sure that's pulled up and let's share my screen. I'm, I need to put a big old post-it note. Um, computer, so I don't fit. I don't know what I'm here. Oh, there. Except that I 
I don't know. It's, I want that one bigger. Oh. Um, I'll figure out how to figure out how to change that there that's better you don't have to look at my ugly mug okay so let's hit the start button um let's go down here oh it looks like emily won again <laughs> congratulations to emily make sure that you're checking my biz page for those live check-ins uh, posts. I try to do those the day that I'm going live. Um, sorry, I know it's kind of hard to track since I've been kind of scatterbrained lately and not very consistent, but hope to work on that. But thanks again so much for joining me this evening um, or watching the replay at a later date. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you later. Thanks for watching.